Hello everyone, this is Augie here with XCAR and I wanted to show you something that we did uh, recently uh, from a request that we got from uh, a post for the um, Labor Day weekend uh, sale. Uh, somebody asked about being able to use this one which is a uh, sound uh, a buzzer you know that goes on this in case you didn't know what that is it's um if i turn off the power here okay turn off the power it goes in beside doing that it has the, the sound you know the, so let me turn it on okay so it goes away now what he wanted to know is if we were able to have that sound on command from the receiver, from the, sorry, the transmitter. So this one is the switch that I use to switch off the unit when you activate that feature, okay? You activate that feature by holding the power button, which is this one here, okay? When you power up the unit for the first time, so that when you turn on the unit, it gives you three flashes, right? So um, what we did is we made, let me put it this way so you can see, the middle, put the middle here. Now, the one that you use to turn on and off, which is this one here, okay? Now you can use it to activate the alarm, you know, the um, a buzzer to locate your fallen helicopter so that's now a feature so if you guys uh, want to add this feature is simply adding a different uh, firmware you know an updated firmware that allows you to to do that and um, allows you to do that another thing that I don't know if people know is that we can do now like Volvoch said let's do 12 volts okay so let's uh, do that, 12 volts there, okay? So we have 12 volts and those 12 volts are actually going into this here, all right? And um, even though this is a three capacitor unit, which would ideally or maximum, as you can see, is three volts that would actually handle only nine volts. What we have is the ability to uh, make it uh, 12 volt uh, compatible. So even though it is at 12 volts, as you can see, it's still working and let's turn it off. Okay, as you can see, it turns on and allows you to still have control of the, even though it is off right now. So let me unplug it. Fully unplugged now. There is nothing but that one. And as you can see, there's still full power to the unit. Now, because it is activated, uh, this one here doesn't do anything except off, as you can see. I turned it off completely. That's why it went to full off. Okay, so this one still works as a, as the uh, as the off button, and as well as the locator buzzer now for that. So that's uh, about it, you know. And also 12 volt uh, compatible. It, it will give you. By the way, let me turn that on again so that we can. Oh, hold on, let me plug it because I did unplug it just to make sure that it was not connected whatsoever. So let me plug it again. I'm gonna plug it here on the last one. Okay, so nice plug. Turn it on again, okay. And by the way, when you plug it in, when you, the first time you turn it on, it will actually give you that uh, uh, an alarm test to make sure that it is fully working okay so it is right now uh charging as you can see and the blinking red and the blinking uh, led means 
that it is full, but it's warning you that it's higher than the maximum that it normally uses. So like for instance, right now, as you can see here, it's uh, 12 volts, 11.89. But if I turn it off, notice how the voltage will go to when we're 8.2, which is the maximum allowed voltage for the capacitors. So the capacitors are actually working as if it was connected to 8.2 volts as you can see see that and uh but if i turn again on we're gonna have again 12 volts and obviously it stops because the the condition alarm condition is now let's let's make this reset okay so now we have the alarm because i went from 12 volts to that How I turn it off? Okay. So but let's say we went and uh, we connected that initially at eight volts. It will go back to work at eight volts without any problem. So there is no need to adjust anything. It, it does it automatically. So it will be able to do that and uh, get into, uh, as you can see, it's fully charged again. The, uh, the voltage here, is uh, going to be again this much as you can see so um oh and now like i said before it allows you to use this as the center position as as a as a locator alarm so you can use it as a, as a locator you can use the the um uh it says uh, zero one two three which is the the uh, buzzer, XCAR buzzer. So that's it. So now you can see that it's uh, 12 volts compatible, that it uh, has that, and it won't let the the capacitors um, get higher than 8.4 uh, volts, uh, uh, even under 12 volts uh, voltage because it controls that. And uh, even if you're using a 12 volts uh, system, it will drop down to 8.4 when there is uh, an emergency, okay? All right, so I hope this uh, answers the questions and now this new feature that was requested online, it's now available. The V3 uh, comes, you know, from the ones that are actually purchased from now on, the ones that are shipped from today's date, which is um, September 1st and forward. They all come with this new firmware that has the ability to use the centers center position of your off switch to turn on the uh, buzzer, the SGAR buzzer as a locator. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And don't forget to click on subscribe and also on the notification bell so that you get all our videos. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.